Hi, I'm David Coulthard. I'm one of the drivers for Mercedes-Benz and DTM. Behind me, I have two examples of DTM car. This is the old generation, and on my left, the new shiny 2012 DTM car. There's a number of changes which make this a more sophisticated and technical car, and we're going to take a look at those now. So if we start here with the most significant change visually, we've got the old spec tire here and the new spec tire. The new tire is two inches wider. Inevitably, when you have more surface area, you're going to have more weight. It's also 10% heavier. So that actually is going to be quite a challenge for the mechanics during the pit stop. I'm glad that I'm driving the car rather than having to lift that on. As we move along the car, you can see that the wheel arches are obviously flared a lot more to accommodate that much wider tire. So visually, that should stand out for the spectators. We have something here quite familiar. It's a wheel. Obviously not a wheel that goes in the corner, it's a steering wheel. And new for this year, we have the semi-automatic gearbox. Very simple, right paddle for up, left paddle for down, and then the normal array of buttons that are needed in DTM. So speed control and neutral and the likes. This car is a coupe, so it's a two-door versus the old configuration of DTM, which was four-door. Uh, not so good for taking passengers, but very good for the racetrack. And then moving along to the rear of the car, what we have is one of the standardized parts that's in DTM in the interest of controlling costs. We have a single element, larger rear wing with a huge gurney here. This is what we call the gurney on the back of the car. That looks to me about a 30 millimeter gurney. And when you compare that to the old specification of car over there, you can see it was a much smaller multi-element wing. So overall, it's designed to promote closer racing, more cost-effective racing, and as long as Mercedes win, we don't care. So DTM is all about safety first. And what we have here is a crash structure, which is actually bolted on the front of the car around here. So the gap in the middle will be filled with a V8 four liter engine, producing about 500 horsepower. So you have your nice Mercedes-Benz power there. Keeping in the theme of safety, what we have here is a removable crash structure. That gets bolted on there, so any side impact will be absorbed by that, and of course it can be replaced afterwards. Now, this is the actual chassis, and this is new for this year, so it's a complete carbon fibre tub. What I'm going to do is I'm going to step in, and I'm going to position myself where I'll be sitting. Obviously, it's not really that stable at the moment because it's missing a few bits, but this is the position I'll be sitting in when I drive the car. So you can see that the driver has a full carbon fibre safety cell around about him. Fuel cell is inside this area here, so no refueling during 2012. And this makes this the safest form of touring car racing without question. So 2012 promises to promote closer racing, safer racing, and all in all, a collaboration between the three marks, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Audi.